Welcome to Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein, Quick Hitter Edition. We're going back out to South Philly with some more breaking news related to all of the um, drama that's been going on this spring and summer. As I've said, what looks like just a fight at Chickie and Pete's um, a couple weeks ago with Johnny Chang and Joey Baldino and Mikey DeBella and all that nastiness. Um, there, there are layers to this and there are four or five different incidents that we're not sure if they're connected. We know some are, we don't know if others are, uh, or sh I should say it looks like some are. Um, and when the, the jury's still out, um, with, with some other things. And I wanted to, to give some more information on what I'm hearing related to connecting the dots between these situations. So the lead here is that I'm told on good authority, both sides of the law here, that one of the participants in the Chicken and Pete brawl was also a suspected participant in a shootout that occurred a couple weeks before that. And we've talked about the shootout on uh, on here before. We don't know really any of the details, but uh, let's just kind of timeline it. Uh, the Joey Merlino arson happens at the end of May. And again, I want to be very clear. We have no evidence at all tying the Joey podcast or the Joey attempted arson to any of the things that happened afterwards. But we have to say that there was an arson of the alleged Philly Mafia Don Joey Merlino. Um, and that's, that's a known fact. And we'll, we'll learn more about where that investigation is. I'm guessing soon. I'm surprised we haven't heard more. It's been two, three months. Um, but after that, in the weeks and months leading to this Chickie and Pete's brawl, we first had a fight at the Philly Live Casino involving Joey Baldino, Mike DiBella. Um, one of the Changalini's nieces was there because she dates um, a guy that I'm told that DiBella and Baldino are in some feud with. Uh, a couple low-level South Philly wise guys. Um, and there are conflicting opinions on who they're affiliated with. But They've been beefing with Baldino and DeBella for most of the song. And within this, you had the brawl at the Philly Live Casino. Then you had the brawl at Chickie and Pete's that were, I think, about a month or two apart from each other. But in between that, we had a break-in and a shooting. And we have no idea if any of these things are connected. We don't know if... The break-in is connected to the shooting. We don't know if the shooting um, is connected to the brawl, uh, either one of these brawls. But what I do know is that one of the people that was present at Chickie, Pete's, Chickie and Pete's that was on the other side of this feud with Joey Baldino and Mike DiBella was also in, involved or believed to have been involved in this shootout, um, which was less than a couple weeks, less, I want to say less than 10 days after the break-in um, in South Philly of a very prominent Bruno Scarfo crime, uh, crime family um, figure, somebody that's been in the news for decades. Um, we're not going to get into who that is. At some point, that will be reported, I'm guessing soon, possibly this week. Uh, I am waiting for, I always defer to the big guns in Philly. You know, if Dave or George or anybody at, at any of the mainstream um, media outlets, if they have it, I want them to report it first. They've had it now for a little bit. Um, I've seen the police report. They've seen the police report. We all know who it, who it was and what was taken and and where. Um, so I'm going to kind of wait and see if they go out with it, but if they don't go out with it soon, um, I'll, I'll coordinate and make sure that it's okay. And then I, I'll report it. Um, so you have that. And again, we have no idea if that's connected to any of this, 
Um, but we know that the Philly Live brawl is connected to the Chicken and Pete's brawl. We know that there was a road rage incident that preceded the Chicken and Pete's brawl by a couple hours uh, with these, these two feuding factions of younger um, Philly street figures. When I say younger, I mean like guys that are under 45, not under 25. And um, I'm told that one of the Changelini's nieces was there too. And then another one of the Changelini's nieces was assaulted in the brawl at Chicky and Pete's. Johnny Chang um, came in to kind of regulate at Chicky and Pete's and ended up, I'm told, slapping Mike DeBella. Mike DeBella, I'm told, hit Johnny Chang and kind of all hell broke loose. Um, so there's going to be, there's got to be some type of fault from that too. I mean, we can pretend like this had nothing to do with, you know, sometimes a fight's just a fight and, you know, fights happen in South Philly all the time. I mean, okay. But in this situation, you have, you know, two different nieces of the Changelinis that were assaulted and you had Johnny Chang, one of the most respected members of LCN in Pennsylvania, um, disrespected and, and, uh, someone laid their hands on him. So you got to believe there'll be some type of uh, accountability for that. Um, so we can tie the the Philly live brawl to the Chicken and Pete's brawl. We can tie one of the people that are suspected to have taken place in a shootout um, to the, picky, the, the Chicken and Pete's brawl and the road raid incident and the Philly live casino brawl, but we don't know if the situations um, are connected. It could just be a guy was involved in both of them. So that's my update right now. Uh, we'll we'll you know keep our finger on the pulse and uh, see if we can give you some more information by the end of the week. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod, I'm out.